File Station How to Set Remote Connections Previously, you would need to log into different devices individually for data migration or management. But now you only need File Station. The new remote connection in File Station allows you to manage multiple devices and services on a single screen, saving you time in transmitting files and managing and organizing your data. The remote connection service allows you to manage files across local remote devices and cloud services using a single interface. You can easily carry out file management tasks such as copying and moving from remote to local devices or vice versa. Six cloud services are supported, including Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, Amazon Cloud, Yandex Disk, and Box. You can connect to remote devices using SIFS, SMB, FTP, and WebDAV. Please note you must download Connect to Cloud Drive from the App Center before using this function. Click the computer button on the toolbar and select Create Remote Connection. You can choose a service to connect to. Using Google Drive as an example, after you click, you will see a login page. If you are already logged into your Google account in this browser, it will request permission. Click Accept to continue the process. Edit your connection name and click Apply to finish. Three network protocols are supported for connecting to remote devices. The first is Microsoft Networking, SMB SIFS. This protocol supports online streaming and thumbnail display and can give you a better experience, but is only supported by local networks. You can use the VPN service to connect your remote device to a local network. The second is FTP, which allows you to mount every folder in the device for browsing all of the files on the remote device. The last is WebDAV, which allows you to connect via local network or over the internet. The way it accesses files is very similar to downloading files from the websites. Click Use Microsoft Networking as an example. After you click, you will see a pop-up window where you can enter necessary information. You can click on the magnifier button to find your NAS on the local network or manually enter the host name or IP address. Enter your username and password and click the share button to retrieve the folder list. Then you can select the folder you want to mount. If you're connecting over FTP, you do not need to mount specific folders and you can choose mount directly to mount the whole folder. If you want the system to support playback and to generate thumbnails, please enable this option. Destination is a QNAP NAS. It must have QTS 4.2 or later installed. The last step is to enter a connection name and click Create. If you want to see the connection status, click the computer button and select Current Connection Status. You can see all the details including the connection time, connection name, protocol, host name, IP, port, username, and source path. You also can disconnect or remove a connection in this page. If you want to see the connection record, select connection record under the same button and you will see all the uh, mentioned details. You can also see connections that have been removed here. When the connection is established, you can easily move copy files from different storage devices and cloud services. Select the files you want to copy and simply drag it into the folder in the left panel.